Okay, I, we can stop there. <laughs> Building collective power is sort of rooted in a very simple idea that in order to engage residents, you have to begin where they are. Too often, philanthropy and others who care about residents that have been residing in communities that have been historically disinvested. And we start with what's important to us. Building collective power turns that around and it's about starting with what is important to them. The program, Building Collective Power, shows up in three fundamental ways. People, voice, action. One, people. We want to invest in those individuals who get people to show up, bring people out their homes and into the public square, and create the conditions where they can start talking to one another. Two, voice. The voice component of the strategy is all about supporting community-centered platforms that allow the authentic narratives of those communities to emerge, be lifted up, amplified, not just in the neighborhood, but across the city. It's also, those community-centered media platforms are also an opportunity to bring information, vital information, into communities so that that information can inform their agenda setting. Third, action. By supporting organizing and supporting narrative, supporting community-centered media, we support campaigns that come from residents because we know it's the doing that creates the condition for trust building. So as you continuously sort of support the agenda setting, the advancing that agenda, the action required to move things forward, narrative change and development, we're hopeful that this city can become an even more powerful city.